Google. Turn on the. We'll see if this works. What the? It's pretty interesting to me. It's basically a little disk that secures your phone on fabric and prevents it from being lost or stolen. Attach this disk to the end of the material and it creates a really secure map. And then you add this cat looking thing to your phone and the right it connected to. When you want to unlock it, just push down on the colored slider and the magnet will release. And this works anyway. <laughs> Hey there, I'm Luke, and when I was around 9, I loved this show called Terra Nova. Um, no one has really even heard of this thing. Um, it was pretty excellent. It was basically your standard dystopian world on the verge of environmental collapse sort of deal, but it took place in the year 2149, and it had a lot of really cool concepts for some futuristic technologies, and they were all super cool. But the one that always stood out to me, and this is the same across a multitude of different movies and TV shows, is Dem Displays Dough. I don't really know what it is about it, but the whole idea of having literally a glass pane being your phone for everything that you do is just so aesthetically pleasing and also awesome to see. And yeah, this technology seems like quite a far bit away from now. I mean, we have things like the Galaxy Fold and the Huawei Mate X, which both look incredible. And I'm super excited about that sort of tech. But I have a feeling that this might be coming sooner than we may expect. Not only that, but there are also some definite benefits to transparent smartphones, and uh, here's some of those. A lot of people say that uh, transparent smartphones will be great for dual displays, and I definitely agree. I mean, just from a composition standpoint, if you have glass on the front and glass on the back, it'd be super easy to throw in two conductive and emissive layers on both sides and two sensors and you're good to go, right? And this isn't technically a new technology. I mean, we've definitely seen this before and it's provided a lot of different advantages. Like for instance, only needing one camera and that can act as like a super high quality selfie camera and a rear facing. That would be awesome, but also productivity, right? I mean, think about the multitasking capabilities or something like this. And also even gaming. I mean, some new phones coming out have even showed off what you could do with extra buttons on the back of the display. I mean, these are all just concepts, but theoretically this would be awesome to see. This is great, but once again, we already have dual screen phones, so this doesn't really add anything. What it could add something to is a better concept of safety. And hear me out, because that might sound really weird at first, but think about it. If all you're looking at all day is primarily a sheet of glass, that means even when you're staring directly at your phone, you'll still have a concept of what's in front of you. And it might be blurry, but it's still better than nothing at all, which is the current situation that we have. And I think this is great, because society right now, I mean, so many people, I myself included in that, I mean, it's easy to just walk around on your phone and become super distracted, and this would help people become more aware, just in general, and that is a great thing. And speaking of that transparent background, if you're a developer, you're probably going to want to make the design of your app the simplest as possible to work with any style, any environment that this, uh, this phone could be in. So that mostly... I would equate to meaning choosing a couple simple colors for the text and stuff like that, and then having like a black background. And from what we know about black backgrounds, at least today, that would save a lot of battery life, right? So the last of the big reasons for me is just a total improvement of smartphone augmented reality. So AR in its entire industry has had the main issue of just becoming more immersive over the years that it's been around. And that's why we have things like Microsoft HoloLens, which do a great job at making a transparent display so that it can literally project the images and make it feel like it's actually in your reality, right? Because it's augmented reality. Sorry. But the idea behind it is that when you have this transparent display, you can actually make things in the perspective of what your eyes are seeing. When you're using a smartphone, it uses the camera, which has a very different perspective. So instead of using the camera, what if we actually use the display to try to map these 3D objects in the real world? I mean, theoretically, that would look a lot better than what we have. So if you're on board with everything so far, here's why I think these could be coming sooner than you may expect. For one, Sony, of all companies, decided that they were just gonna patent a transparent smartphone 
a couple months back. And I know patents don't necessarily mean that any product will ever be made, but it does mean that manufacturers are thinking about it, and that is a great thing. Also, Sony specifically, uh, their Xperia line is doing pretty bad as far as I'm concerned, so it puts them in a pretty awesome place to try something new and maybe get back into the market. I don't know. And let's not forget like the past five years of CES where companies like LG and Sharp have shown off their new sort of concepts for transparent displays. And maybe they're not in the same form factor, but it is a proof of concept. We can make stuff like this. Don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we're going to be seeing something like this come out this year or anytime soon. And there are still plenty of challenges, I'm sure, like being able to fit all those components into a really small area of the device or making them transparent? Not sure how that would work, but that negativity can be saved for in another video, so if you want to see that too, let me know. Maybe I'm just crazy or super optimistic, but these are the reasons I'm excited for transparent smartphones, and I think you should be too. And maybe more support like this could help pressure manufacturers to actually pursue this sort of technology in the future. Anyways, that's about it for me. Uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think about this. I mean, maybe I am on my own here. Um, and also, what do you think about this type of video? Would you like to see more like this? Leave a like and a comment down below, um, and subscribe for more stuff like this, and um, thanks for watching. Also guys, sorry about the delay in content. I'm really trying to get stuff out. I had a couple complications, but we should be back on the schedule, so everything is good. Thanks for sticking with me. <laughs> See you soon.